Hi, this is Mary Morrissey. Today I want to share with you the determining factor that governs our results. Would you like to know what is controlling the results you're having in your life? Maybe you've had dreams or goals that year after year you either don't achieve or you get a portion of it, but you don't really have the ability to create the life that you love living on demand. What if you could? And what if you knew what was stopping you? The name for the thing that controls our results, our money, our health, our happiness, our love, our freedom, the name for that is the word paradigm. But knowing the word doesn't change our lives, but it begins with some understanding about that word. See, where I'm filming today, the temperature in the room that I'm in is governed by an invisible thing to me. I know it exists, but it's invisible to me, but that thing is called a thermostat. The thermostat has been set for a particular temperature. Now, if the temperature in the room rises a few degrees above that, cool air will be brought into this room, thus bringing the temperature back to its normal range. If the temperature drops a few degrees, the thermostat will change what's going on in this room by sending warm air into the room, thus bringing the temperature in the room back within a range of its setting for normal. Your paradigm governs what's normal for you. And it got formed through many, many years of experience and belief, that most of which was given to you by your parents, your school, the media, others, about how this world works. And most of us, until we get into some form of personal development or some form of radical shift in our way of seeing how things really work in the world, actually live a life where we believe that circumstances control us and that what's in our bank account determines what we can be and do. There was a time on our planet where most people believed that the world was flat. It was the major operating system for how things worked. It didn't matter that it was a lie. It mattered that people believed it because they lived little constricted lives based on a paradigm that the world was flat. Many of us have paradigms that are as constrictive as the world is flat ideas about what we can say yes to and what we can say no to, what we have to say no to. We look at the price and say, I can't afford that. What if, in fact, you could set the setting on your paradigm for a more expansive life, where actually the life you could create is this life. You actually can go where you want to go. You actually can do what you want to do. You actually, actually can have what you want to have. And even more importantly, you actually can give what you want to give to what really matters to you. That life is available to every single one of us, but it doesn't happen with the world is flat paradigm. It happens with a different paradigm. And so learning how to install a new operating system in the way you think about things is not something that usually happens overnight. Paradigms get changed one of two ways. They get changed by a dramatic emotional impact. You're in a car accident. Or, or something just dramatically emotionally happens and it changes your way of thinking about things. Or a period of time with repetition and study where you begin to question some of your own beliefs. You can begin, begin to get curious about, well, what if I could? And you stay inside that question more often than why you can't. So how you can change it is first becoming aware that you do have a paradigm, not just you, everyone has paradigms. And is this is my belief about how I how I am with money, my belief about how I am with love, my belief with how I am with health, my belief with how I am with opportunities, my belief with how I am with the relative freedom or lack of it that I allow in my life. And if any place in your life you're feeling a constriction, let's redesign that paradigm. Let's install a paradigm a way of thinking about things where you literally have more freedom. So an example of that is one time my son, my second oldest son, came home and he was a junior in high school and he wanted to go to the junior prom. And he came home and he said, Mom, I need $85 because I, I said, and this was a long time ago and $85 was a lot of money to me, still money, you know. And he said, yeah, I, I want I, I need a tuxedo and I, I forgot the girl's name, Sarah or whatever. I want to take her to the prom and it's $85 for the tuxedo. And I said, well, Rich, you don't really need $85. He said, yes, I need $85. I said, and I, we went back and forth a bit about whether he really needed $85. I said, you just told me you want a tuxedo. You, didn't, you don't really need $85. You need a tuxedo. He said, but you don't understand. In order to get the tuxedo, I have to have $85. I said, what if you don't? What if you don't? 
He said, what do you mean, what if I don't? And I said, well, just try this out. And then I gave him some tools for how to relate to his vision of having a tuxedo that was one he would really love without the $85 first. If he believed he could do it, what would he do? And he said, well, I'd get the $85 and then I would go try them on. I said, why don't you go try them on? Just try them on, pick out the tuxedo, write down the, have the person there helping you write down the exact tuxedo you would like. Go to two or three places. And he said, well, I know where I'd go. There's the best place in town. And I said, well, go there. At least try on, try on a tuxedo, just see what happens. So he didn't really like my suggesting that he could do this without the money, but he went ahead and did it anyway. And an interesting thing happened. While he was trying on the tuxedo, the man who was helping him said, and where do you go to high school? Rich said, I go to Hill High. He said, hmm, I don't think we have a representative at Hill High yet. And Rich said, representative, what do you mean? He said, oh, well, our tuxedo, a company allows one person from each high school, if you will wear one of our tuxedos for four weeks in a row, uh, coming up to prom night, you can wear any tuxedo of your choice that we have on prom night, and it's complimentary. Well, Rich was always a clothes horse, so this was not only a great way to have the tuxedo, but it was very fun for him for the four weeks heading up to prom. Now, <clears throat> I'm suggesting to us that we have paradigms that control our behavior, our money, our sense of opportunities, and why you want to hang out with people who have busted some of their paradigms and installed new paradigms and set that thermostat for their life with more expansion, more fun, more freedom, is that that kind of thinking can be learned and repeated only you'll be the one to pick the kind of freedom that you want to have. Twice a year, I get a group of people together, twice a year, at an event called Dream Builder Live. I, the people that come, hundreds of them, come who are dream builders. They're people who live passionate, purpose-filled lives where they understand there is a thinking technology by which they can say yes to what matters to them and the dreams that are in their heart. We gather together for a Friday, a Saturday, Sunday, and we have an event coming up. And I would love to meet you there. It's a supportive environment. You know, there's a lot of networking that goes on. Some of your best friends you're ever going to meet in your life, you will meet at Dream Builder Live. So click the link below this video and explore Dream Builder Live. And I will hope to meet you at our next live event. And as I leave today, I just want to remind you something. No matter what's going on in your life, no matter what, how long it's been there or whatever it is, the power that's breathing you, that called you into being, is greater than anything that's in the land of circumstances, anything that's in the land of conditions right now. That power in you is more. I really deeply know that you can live a life you love living. And the dream that's in your heart can become the life you love. Have a great day. See you next time.